I've got a problem on my hands and I'm pretty sure I know what the solution is. Gavin Gear here from UltimateReloader.com wanted to give you a sneak peek at a project that I'm working on. It's a Boyd's all wood stock upgrade for the Thompson Center Compass Rifle in 308. Now I did a full review, an in-depth review and overview of this rifle a couple years back and it's been on my list to upgrade the stock. Now I'm finally there. Problem. I wanted to upgrade the Weaver Grand Slam 16 power scope with one inch tube to the ATN Excite Pro 4K with 30 millimeter tube because I want to show you all what's going on when I shoot this rifle. The problem is the compass comes with a two piece Weaver mount. The Weaver mount is different than the Picatinny mount in that it's not intended to line up for things like one piece mounts that have particular spacing for Picatinny, but these slots are also a little bit narrower and a little bit shallower than Picatinny. The only rings I have for 30 millimeter are for Picatinny. So what I'm gonna do in this video is we're gonna go over to the milling machine, we're gonna widen the slots and deepen them just a little bit, and then we're gonna use these 30 millimeter scope rings to mount an ATN Excite Pro 4K. Hopefully all goes to plan. Let's go over to the milling machine. So this is my milling machine. This is a Bridgeport clone. It's a Precision Matthews PM 949 TV. This has got the variable speed head. I've got it set to 2000 RPM, which we could go actually quite a bit higher, but I've got an anodized surface that I'm gonna be breaking here. So we might need to even use a little bit of WD-40 to cool that down as the tool is cutting. And my overall approach here is gonna be, I've got a 316 inch cutter, which is 187. We need to go to, it looks like 210 total. So I'm gonna mill a, a pass, and I'm gonna make it a little bit undersized, measure it with the digital calipers, the width of it, and then see how much further we need to go. For the depth, I'm gonna get down to the bottom. I'm gonna see when the anodizing starts to get cut off, and then I'm gonna zero out my Z, and then I'm gonna bring the table up by the amount that we need to deepen the cut, which is 22 thousandths of an inch. So, I'm gonna get started, watch along. Okay, so I got the scope mounted on the Thompson Center Compass, but it didn't exactly go to plant. The milling went really well. I used about 2000 to 3500 RPM. I didn't need any coolant. Everything was really, really clean, and I got my dimensions. Depth was within a thousandth of an inch. Very good stuff. But when I went to go and put the ATN Excite Pro 4K, oh my word, into the rings, I noticed that this center section where all the electronics is housed was just too wide and it wouldn't fit between the rings. So I defaulted to this Vortex Viper 6 to 24 by 50 HST, which you first saw in my Ruger Precision Rifle series. And I'm gonna go ahead and use that instead. Couple things, one, I'd like to find a way to mount the Excite Pro 4K, but I'm gonna have to do a little bit of research into that. Second, you can see this is still really high. So this wouldn't be a final solution for this scope, but it gets me unblocked and I can start shooting again. What happened was, I was actually shooting with this Weaver scope with these cheap Chinese rings and they came undone a couple times. They just would not stay tight. Not really good quality on that. These are the Seekins manufactured Vortex Precision rings. They are incredibly robust. Now I've got a 30 millimeter tube scope on there and I should be good to go. So I hope you enjoyed this story. First link in the video description, there's gonna be a link to the article. I'll have a little bit more information, the specs for Weaver and for Picatinny. I'm happy with how this project came out. It didn't cost me anything. I was able to use my machine shop equipment to convert these Weaver bases to Picatinny spec in terms of being able to accept those rings. So I'm happy. Now, you're gonna to wanna to make sure you're subscribed with notifications because I got more Thompson Center Compass and Boyd's stock content coming very shortly. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. 
If you want to support me, I've got these Ultimate Reloader shorts at the Ultimate Reloader store. I'm also on Patreon. Check the links in the video description there. Until next time, happy shooting and happy reloading. Yeah.